If you hate cleaning, here are some things you should never have in your kitchen. Let's start with cast iron. Do you see what I've done to this? Cast iron has very specific cleaning instructions. You're not supposed to use soap and water, which I didn't know, and I did, and you're not supposed to let it dry, air dry. I've also done that. I feel so badly. And do you know how to fix this? <laughs> if you do, leave a comment. I might have to start over. I like cast iron because it heats evenly, but it might not be the right thing for me right now because they're very, very high maintenance. So let me know if you have a cast iron story like I do, where I just totally let this poor thing rust over. Um, these are supposed to be able to last a lifetime it seems and I wasn't able to keep it alive for more than a year so cast iron if you're not good with it like me then stainless steel might be a better option but yeah let me know in a comment if I can fix this or if it's just literally get rid of it and maybe try again later <laughs> oh guess what else I've ruined and that is wooden cutting boards these are very difficult to clean because they crack, they're porous, they get bacteria inside. And so I have, this is decorative, I've switched over to a plastic cutting board just because like the cast iron, these are just high maintenance. Here's something that I used to have that I got rid of specifically because of how much I hated cleaning it and that is a juicer. I had a beautiful juicer. I used it never because the little pieces and parts were, it was so much, very, very overwhelming, very hard to clean. It would take me 10 minutes to make the juice and then 20 minutes to actually clean that machine. So that did not last very long. I only had the juicer for a couple of months. I wanted to love it, but honestly, I just could not deal with the cleaning. So I just say have a blender and then just use a sifter if you wanna make juice from there. This is a treasure that I found at an antique shop. It is so beautiful. I love thinking about maybe the history, the story that goes behind this spoon. It is hard to clean though, so I've limited myself to one. I've never put this in the dishwasher and it has really intricate designs on it, which can be a little bit harder to clean. So things that are high maintenance, even if it's one thing, like a spoon, I try to either not have or have a very limited quantity of. Can anyone else relate to this? I am the worst at cleaning my waffle iron. I always worry about this cord and the water. So this thing is just constantly, here we go, constantly dirty, grimy. So I did a little research and you can actually buy silicone waffle molds online. There are some on Amazon that have really good reviews and I'm dying to try this. So you just put them in the oven. You put them in the mold and put them in the oven and they come out just like a waffle. Should I try this? This sounds so easy to store. That's the thing about this one too. Not only is it hard to clean, it's bulky. It's very, very big in my small and limited kitchen. What do you think? Let me know and I would love to update you on them because we just love waffles that much. I love using stuff like this. There's something about it that just feels very grounding, but I admit it's a little bulky and we also have this, which also, if you put it on the stove, boils water. It's even got the little pouring side. So if I were to boil some water for a cup of tea, I could just pour it in there. It just wouldn't be the same experience. So, I mean, you have to decide for yourself whether or not it's worth it. But if you're really trying to free up space in your kitchen and yes, having extra items that you have to constantly clean around, and now I have to dry or wash and dry two things instead of one, it absolutely affects your cleaning. I have decided to get rid of the bread maker, get rid of the juicer and have this. Choose your favorites to stay. Just think about what you can switch out and just make some decisions that way. Something about electric can openers, I think feels very convenient, but they are definitely harder to clean. Bigger, bulkier, and then if your power goes out, you're out of luck. So I like having just a regular can opener, but 
my confession is that this has also molded over or rusted i mean i don't know this might be another hand wash don't let it air dry thing which is another high maintenance but you can't live without a can opener i feel like putting this through the dishwasher just once will ruin it but i don't know it still works and this little spinny blade is okay so i think think we're okay to keep using this here is a confession of mine I like to have just a couple things out on my counter. I like the warmth it adds. I used to have so much more than this. I used to have one of those little tiered trades, trays and I would put all these little knickknacks on there that needed to be dusted, that got in the way whenever I needed to wipe down the counters. I tried having my kitchen completely bare and it just felt like somebody moving out. But what is your opinion? Do you need a little something or do you like nothing at all? Duplicates is a really good kind of no brainer category to declutter just in your house in general. But if you hate cleaning your kitchen, check for duplicates. For some reason, I feel like duplicates accumulate the fastest here. I think we don't want to be caught in the kitchen needing something and not having it. I went through when I first decluttered my space and I think I had three or four mismatched sets of measuring cups and measuring spoons. And it's the kind of thing where of course you need measuring cups and spoons. Like there's no way you're going to declutter them without really intentionally getting rid of them because your brain just sees it and thinks, of course that's useful. So you have to go in looking very specifically for duplicates. These are kid safety knives and it's great, but I do not think we need two. In fact, I'm gonna keep the smaller one because it's for little hands and I have a five-year-old. I didn't even realize we had two and I think it's just because I have not gone through my kitchen recently specifically looking to declutter duplicates or even like let's go even further with this concept like containers plastic tupperware containers without matching lids another one where i feel like we just see it our brain sees it and we think that is useful same thing with pots and pans do you use every single one that you own often or did the lids even match <laughs> the pans are there some lids that you can get rid of so i think going into your kitchen very intentionally saying i'm going to declutter duplicates I'm gonna declutter anything without a lid. Here's something that I decluttered several years ago that I actually worried I would seriously regret. And it was my Instant Pot. People were raving about it. I had an Instant Pot cookbook and I was like, I, I need to learn to love this thing. The truth is that thing freaked me out <laughs> and I could not justify keeping the Instant Pot when I kept using the crock pot instead. Every single time we went to cook dinner, I would skip over that Instant Pot just to put it in the slow cooker. So it took me a sad moment <laughs> to realize I need to let this go. Someone else is not scared of it and is gonna use this and love this. So if you hate cleaning, Get rid of things that you pass up for other things. No matter how much you spent on it, no matter how much you want to love it. Well, let me know what kitchen items you think you should never have in your kitchen if you hate cleaning. Also, here's another video on the screen. I will meet you over there.